Tonight we are following up with the city of Paso Robles regarding the purchase of a multi-million dollar property near the airport. KSBY News reporter Alexa Bertola explains what the building is for and where the money is coming from. The Paso Robles City Council just gave the green light to purchase property for $6.1 million. Now it'll serve as the new City Hall Annex and Corporation Yard. If all goes as planned, this is where you'll pay your water bill or apply for a business license. The city will also store its maintenance equipment here. The city is working to save money on its operations by relocating certain city functions to a different location. Located on the eastern part of town, one resident who is dropping off her water bill at the current city hall annex on Thursday afternoon didn't want to go on camera, but told us the new potential location is out of the way. She also questioned where the city is getting the funds. Right now, City Hall Annex is on Pine Street and the Corporation Yard is on Riverside Avenue. The city shells out $114,000 a year in lease payments for one and $124,500 for the other. Longtime Paso Robles resident Tina Nichols was shocked to hear the rent amounts. It was just like, you know, in a year's rent, two years, you could have purchased property for cheaper than that. By purchasing the new property, the city says it'll save the general fund $238,500 a year. The city clarifies, however, that the general fund will not be touched for this purchase. That's been a, a big point of conversation because our general fund is so compromised by the pandemic. The money will instead come from a $1.5 million sale of the corporate maintenance yard property on Riverside. Plus, the general government development impact fees in the amount of $3.7 million, $377,000 in airport funds, and facility repair and replacement money, which equates to $1.3 million. That's a grand total of $7 million, with the remainder going towards site improvements. In Paso Robles, Alexa Bertola, KSBY News. If that sale goes through, the city says it plans to lease a portion of the property to generate about $165,000 in general and airport funds. And this would include one office complex and two airplane hangars.